Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Imperator Rome playthrough where we are semi-inadvertently at war with most of Anatolia. Sorry, turning that beat was me turning off my dehumidifier, as you probably know by now, where well, things are going well. Oh, they're at war on the other side as well, that's interesting. But yeah, so we've got a fairly large-scale war. We are uh, sending my navy to bring extra legions over to the Anatolian front. But so far, initial initial reports from the front are saying it's going well. We have some scorned families, unsurprisingly. Um, yeah, we're already building up there. Not really much I can do there. To be fair, I don't care about that. Disloyal provinces are becoming loyal. We've got a disloyal character. Why do I care? I can flog him. Why do I care that somebody from a different faction who I've got in prison is disloyal? Right, you're adding there. You are here to pick up some troops. So that 30k stack's going to join. Uh, manpower is doing okay at the moment, but in, in Anatolia, we are going to take a lot of manpower losses because it's not the nicest terrain. If we look at the terrain map mode, there's lots of hills and grot. It is a notoriously nasty place to fight wars, actually. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, we're getting butt kicked up there, aren't we? We don't need to take all of this in one go, but we are definitely going to try and take some big trunks. Some big trunks? Big chunks. Hmm. I'm going to take the taxes for now, actually, because that allows to keep our money flowing through this war. Doesn't really matter which way around we do that one. Uh, I think we we need to bring some other families in again as we do expand. Certainly as our integrations complete, we'll be bringing in some more families uh, loyal to Rome, because at the moment we are struggling a little. I wish I could get rid of that bloody um, vessel there. No, that island is not part of the war. Yeah, let's move up there to try and intercept. You can start sailing over. Okay, that'll do. So we'll get those armies in. You can move up to the coast there where you're going to be brought over. So we're bringing the entire might of the Roman Empire over here slowly. Um, like I said, this this was one of those wars where we actually bit off far more than we realised in the early stages. So... Yeah, basically I got messed up. Hmm... Keep the aggression going. They do have some big forces. Basically what I want to do is I want to keep them... Ugh. Not much I can do about that.
do. Palmyra is at war with a lot of us, but they don't actually like me. I was hoping I'd be able to do some allying. Uh, but damn, we could deal with roads through their territory, but I can't build roads through the enemy's territory. You're going to head that way to hit that fortification once we've captured all of this lot. You are going to move here. I'm going to close in on this. I feel sorry for like these little uh, factions. They must know what's going to be happening soon. Because once I start taking chunks here, I, I do want to start bringing all of these guys into the fold. stuck. Yeah, they're stuck. Ah, because there's a fortification there. No, you can stay there to defend this. You can start working your way around to there. No, wait there, because we're going to need your reinforcements. We need you straight to the front. Let's get them on board. Mastod is hitting them there. Let's come straight down there to pick them up. How's my other navy doing? You can just be sent on a suicide mission out there. Basically, if he pushes through their lines, he will just start distracting them massively, which is still a good thing. Wait until that's locked in, and hit it! Okay, you can start working your way around up here. We're taking... my allies are taking some damage up there, but that's not a huge issue. The second is coming in now. Let's get them in. Oh, this is annoying. I need to take some of these fortifications before we can advance now. And the second can come and support the uh, southern front there. There we go. Integration completed. Pause, 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 pause. Right, uh, we want to make them Roman. The conquest of Great City of Lilia, however I pronounce that. Uh, the city will remain unscathed. Ooh, they're good. They're good. They're crap. But he is crap, anyway. I want those two, so... Penamid. And Archeon. I 
wish I could look at the whole family here. Oh wow, he doesn't have much in the way of family. Yeah, and his kids are crap, so yeah. So two more families brought in there. Yeah. I'm basically hiring them <laughs> to purge the pirates. The annoying thing is now we've taken in Athens, it does mean a lot of other things are going to be problematic. Uh, Thrace is also about to be integrated, so we will use, lose a lot of those Thracian forces. Not that we've got too many Thracian forces. Uh, Macedon's going to take a lot more, and Carthage is still basically going to take forever. on its way you can go to independent operations for now sorry I forgot about this for a minute oh him 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 definitely him That I, I'm going to take them all in. Because I just need the people at the moment for things. One second. Aww. Sorry, I just got an email saying my password had been changed and it wasn't to do with me at all. So I was a little like, well, it's been hacked. Right. Ah, oh, is there any annoying I could? Oh, yeah, we could launch second front here. Let's do that. We are going to sail into the Black Sea and open a second front right from the rear of their lines. So right into here. Um, though they're losing to Palmyra there. We're going to launch a secondary front right into their rear to try and break up their forces as much as possible. Not that their forces are a major issue at the moment. But anything which we can do which weakens them overall is of course good. My manpower is actually holding relatively steady. I suspect... Oh, that's fine. Right, let's just have a look. Because if I can't take all of this, there's no point in really pushing out much further. Yeah, you see? So while we want to keep fighting, 
There's no point because we can't actually take more than that in one go because of the war score cost of it. It is going to hurt us in aggressive expansion as well and could lead to an internal rebellion. We're still going to keep pushing, but I can be a little bit more relaxed in the event offense now. We're still going to launch a secondary offensive and things. I could just split these guys up, but I actually quite like having them being large powers. Because it makes them a bit easier to take on. So I suggest I would only get that, but we are definitely going to be taking more than that today. these legions in. I don't need them. Um, I'm just working if I should just return them to Rome. You know what? We're going to station them in um, Sicily. So we're stationed in Sicily and leave the navy there. I can take them out. It's basically the closest to any area. These guys are actually pushing right through. So we'll come around to this side here, where we've got the big towns. I think population-wise here is quite good anyway. Basically what we want is these guys in a position where they can easily be launched onto my ships. Um, we will deal with all these pirate states we've captured later on. Because like, they obviously need uh, uh, dealing with... Oh wow, they've, they've, we've got a little counter invasion happening. Looks like they're actually going to finally get beaten off. Ooh, that's going to be a close one. We are going to lose that battle. win the secondary battle, but... There we go, reinforcements got in in time. I mean, the fact we control the war goal means we control the battle. We control the battle. Doesn't matter. Macedon is going to take a lot of integrating. Crete will be finished a lot, a long time beforehand. Uh, you need to consolidate some of this just to make Rome really big and impressive looking across there. Yeah, they're all actually good there, so that is a good place. I'd, I'd, they'd probably be quicker the other side, but it feels a bit safer having them that side. I don't know why. Uh, long run, it's probably worth having some just positioned here ready to be able to invade out, but 
The coastline's there now. slowly pull things out. There we go. They won't accept this yet, but that's what we want to go for. Uh, give us a nice solid trunk rather than the bits in, so a nice solid border along there. It is going to give us a lot of aggressive expansion, which could be problematic, and maybe I took the wrong omen, to be fair. Oh yeah, we can evade that. Basically, these guys are ready to go wherever. Oop, another siege one. Let it go. Oh my god, they actually won. Ha! That little mercenary company. Desecrate their holy sites. Tweak it all once we've actually got everything. And we're going to be able to force whatever we want soon, actually, so... bloody well. To be fair, at this point, no, at this point it's over. a lot of claims. Kida. C-K-Q-E-D-A-R. Yeah, so we gained out all of that as claims. that please. Ooh, that's not going well. Ooh, 
That's an interesting one. Set that, and that gives me a nice big chunk of territory, including some Black Sea coastline. Not quite as much in here, but I'm not so fussed by that. That's a better consolidation. See, I could... No, let's drop off a lot of this. Right. any coastline basically there we go and they will accept that they won't accept it with any money though well they'll accept it with some money but it's getting the right amount and that's a nice big chunk of territory it doesn't necessarily include whole territories but that's not terrible so let's do that that is going to give us 23 aggressive expansion which is going to be quite painful but we're low on tyranny at the moment so let's go Because all these little bits inside doesn't appear as. And we have some really good go governors, thankfully. Well, some better governors, anyway. Let's drop the mercs who've done us so very well. you guys can just be pulled back into here we will rejig you all a bit properly later on but yeah nice expansion of the might of Rome there we are not putting ourselves into a rebellion at all actually so that's really good um, Yeah, you see, now it's beginning to change. So we need to work that down a little. The assimilation is going well, certainly in some places. These areas are always going to be a bit easier where we've got lots of Hellenic culture. You are literally being hired to go there and clear out those mercs. Oh, that's still held by Mastodon. Never mind, ignore me. I can't clear out those ships while Mastodon still stands as Mastodon. Sorry, not mercs, pirates even. You can go clear out them, please. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Siege ability. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 no. Tributary opinion of us. Reduce some unrest for some money. Somewhere. I, again, I could have probably gone and looked exactly where it was to work out exactly what, how good that was, but, you know. I 
I think for now I'm going to keep most of my military force down here. Though, I, as I said, I do want to conquer some more of these areas, so... And actually, we have plenty of claims on their territory, so... I would get Egypt in that war! Not that Egypt is in a good state at the moment, because Egypt went and imploded, if you remember. I think I just saved Palmyra's butt in that previous war as well. Actually, you can get him, and he can go into there up our tax rate. I do love the way having a good military man increases your tax. So yeah, we're, we're going to pr plot an invasion of here. Yeah, we've got claims on them as well. So these guys I don't, so let's... We'll work on some claims on that, but I want to just consolidate this bit of territory a bit more here. Just to make sure we've got all the sort of original Greek areas and some of the Balkans there. We do want to do some work over here as well. Basically, we, we, need, we want wars everywhere, it's just managing them. I won't get as much aggressive expansion for here because I've got lots of claims, which is well worth knowing. So actually... Who would join their war? No, I, I would just fight defensive war there, but we're going to move a lot of legions over here. These guys, for this, in preparation for this war, these guys can all sail down to Alexandria. So they are all just going to sit in Alexandria and batter anything which is thrown at us from there. And potentially just splurge out a little bit, but I'm not planning on taking territory there at the moment. Slave uprising! We need to deal with that. I am not going to speak talk to the slaves. Lovely thing about Alexandria, it is gorgeously populated, so we will be able to just flood that with armies um, and all our really high level fortifications there. Let's keep my slaves happy at the moment. With all of this, actually having happy slaves is a good thing. One day I'll get round to actually dealing with that little faction I messed up with. Basically, I want to take this so, I can, so that Rome appears across here. 
which we will eventually get to happen. I'm guessing they have a crate. Ah, we're probably not going to integrate Macedon before the end of the game now. <laughs> and Carthage nowhere near the end of the game. Exporting silk increases that. chasing after them. The fact that I can have a 61 stack there and it's not it wasn't taking attrition. See any need for subtlety here. So actually taking there is the easiest one, so Judiki. Still head up there. And we're just going to hold here for the time being. I don't really want to be aggressive there against Egypt because I'm not planning on really trying to take Egyptian territory. But that is where we're going to leave this one. So this war is for next time. Let's see who is actually joined. So we've got all of these guys, Egypt, and some extra guys up here but nothing I'm really worried about. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have been enjoying this. Please feel free to pop any comments in the comments section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There's a link to my Discord in the comments and the description, as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games, so please check them out. As always, thank you for watching. <laughs>